Hello everybody. Like last time, like the last uh, class also, we did a mixed exercise. Today also we are going to do the a similar kind of an exercise where there will be questions from different topics, the poems and the prose together. And I hope you'll be you have already understood what kind of questions can come in that way. So uh, I know you're already prepared and you're waiting for the next MCQ. So this time this is another mixed exercise for all of you, and this is a selective questions from different schools and all those that are important. That I found important from the questions that have come in different schools. So I hope you'll be able to solve them. You'll find them easy and uh, not very easy, but uh, moderately uh, moderate kind of a paper. And I hope you score well. Uh, how much you score? Do write to me in the comment section and do write to me whatever you find difficult over here or if you have any doubts. I try to solve and uh, dis uh, discuss with you the other options also because you see the most important thing over here is to understand why the other options are not. Applicable, isn't it? It's not just finding out which one is correct and which one is not correct. It's also to understand the importance is also in understanding which one, why the other options are not correct. All right. So I'll also discuss them with you first. Try to solve yourself whether uh, you can solve the, uh, you can bring the or choose the correct answer or not. Okay. Then also uh, listen to the discussion so that it is clear to you why your option. If incorrect, why it is actually incorrect? All right. So without any delay, let's begin. So model test paper. It is a mixed exercise, and here we are going to start with the second day of mixed uh, model test paper, multiple choice questions. So coming to the first question, choose the correct option. Question number one. You see, what did Brentley, Mr. Brentley Mallard, carry with him? So is it a grip sack and an umbrella? Is it a hat and an umbrella? Or is it uh, only a key or a brief, brief briefcase and an umbrella? So we get, we have a very clear idea that it is obviously going to be a grip sack and an umbrella. Option one. I'm not explaining the other options because you know that uh, this is something which is very common and directly from the book. Coming to question number two. What is Mrs. Mallard's first name? Is it Kate? Is it Josephine? Is it Louis? Is it not mentioned in the story? It is obviously mentioned in the story. Last option is wrong. Kate, Josephine. Josephine is a sister. So Mrs. Mallard's name is Louis Mallard. L-O-U-I-S-E. Coming to question number three. How did the man wish to die? How Obviously this question is from which topic? To build a fire. So how did the man wish to die? Did he want to freeze to death? Did he want to hug the dog before death? No. It's the wrong option. Next to repeat repent for his death uh, no he was not repenting he was like okay i have to accept death with dignity so the last option is to sleep off to death he felt that if he could sleep uh, that would be kind of an easy death isn't it if you suddenly fall asleep and in the sleep only you die then you don't suffer the pain of death so he felt that it would be better if he could sleep off to death Let's move to the question number four. In his final trial to light the fire, the man burnt how many sulfur matches? From here, you can understand how deeply you have to study because you cannot miss even a word. Because this type of questions can come and you can lose marks. Even I, while setting the paper, I forgot how many sulfur matches was there. So is it seven sulfur matches, seven boxes of matchsticks, 70 sulfur matches and 70 matches. So 70 sulfur matches is correct. Option number three, 70 matches will be wrong because particularly sulfur matches word was written over there. So see, fourth option is wrong. Seven boxes, no question and seven sulfur matches. It is not correct. 70. Option number three. Let's move to question number five. At what time does the man wish to reach the camp? At particularly what time did he wish to reach the camp? He did not reach the camp, isn't it? So wish to reach. So this is also from to build a fire. Options are six o'clock, four o'clock, five o'clock by noon. So now there is a difference. One is reaching the camp and one is that particular place where he will have his lunch. Okay, the the, uh, the the biscuit with bacon. So this is reaching to camp. So over here, the answer would be 6 o'clock. That means evening by 6 o'clock, he wanted to reach the camp where there would be a fire, there would be food and everything. Let's move to question number five. And yes, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, uh, I've pasted something for you below to follow it and subscribe if you 
benefit from this channel if you do not then there is no question of subscribing if you do benefit from it do subscribe and hit the like bell button so that every time there is a new video you get an idea you get a, you know, a, a notification of it and you can directly join and solve the multiple choice questions coming to question number six what does the poet hope when he had crossed the bar so question is what does the poet hope uh, when uh, he had already crossed the when he had crossed the bar what does he hope for once he has crossed the bar he hopes to meet his pilot to see the pilot to take him to god obviously pilot is himself god so who will he take him to no question to see his pilot and ask for mercy no nobody is asking for mercy over here to see his pilot face to face so yes option number four to see his pilot face to face he wants to meet his pilot but face to face was also mentioned mentioned in the story so it will be option number four let's move to question seven which century is referred to by the expression century scots so particularly which century are we talking about and which is what is what is the poem this one this is darkling thrush so when we talk about century scots so what is this word century referring to which century is it the 19th century is it the 20th century is it the 18th or none of these so it is particularly mentioned that it is the 19th century it was the end of that 19th century as it was the end of the day so it will be option number one coming to question number eight complete the line now these questions are also very common remember that you can be asked to uh, complete the line so you will, must have to be uh, must be aware of the poems lines too okay so winter's dregs made eye of the day no household fires third option is liar and fourth option is desolate so among these four options if you do not have any idea you have if you have you don't have to mug up the poem i haven't mugged up the poem but i have an idea of the words so i will be able to say winter's dregs made desolate i will obviously not tell you to mug up just read it four to five times seven times eight times so that you get an idea of the questions of the lines of the poem all right so uh, how was the amber beard of the man formed because of the muzzle of the ice because of the moist breath he exhaled because of the tobacco juice because of the extreme cold we know it for sure that it is for the tobacco juice because he was constantly chewing it and that reddish you, you sometimes must have seen somebody spitting the juice that is reddish in color so it will keep you know uh, uh, accumulating in the beard and that will make the reddish colored beard so it will be option number three coming to the last question for today the man wanted to accept his death how he wanted to accept his death in fear cautiously despairingly or with dignity this is also directly from your book remember that uh, explanation of that chicken uh, running around with his head cut off in the same way he wanted to uh, uh, not like that way he did not want to run around like that chicken for no use he wanted to accept his death with dignity so it will be option number four so here we come to an end with our questions for today and i hope these questions must have benefited you and you must have been able to score at least uh, nine marks or eight to nine marks or at least 10 or even 10 out of 10 so do write to me if you have benefited from it and what you want next and i'll try to upload it uh, uh, if possible and whenever it is possible and that's all for today hope you will remember to subscribe and like my channel bye bye everybody